Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We have space weather on its way to hit Earth tonight. We'll cover seismic news, a record gamma ray burst, and a paper with the correct trend line and a very wrong rationale for why it's trending how it's trending. And we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring has continued in the M-class range. Smaller pops only. Perhaps slight enhancements added to the solar wind, but nothing like what's expected to arrive later today when the direct hit CME is expected and it's going to trigger some geomagnetic storms. We're going to be going live this afternoon to cover it and the huge stories of the last two weeks. Meanwhile, the big sunspot story is about to depart. The morphing really stepped it up the last 24 hours and I would expect big flares when it departs to the far side. While sunspots are largely absent in the incoming quadrant, the coronal hole is nearly central longitude, with its trailing extension appearing to move transequatorially. That's our space weather watch for the weekend. Seismically, the story yesterday was Japan. A 7-inch tsunami was recorded after the event, but what they're worried about is this was the same kind of precursor in 2011 before the magnitude 9 event. Damage from this event is moderate only, but a bigger quake would devastate the region. We've got eyes open. Up next, we're going way, way out into space for details on the record-breaking longest gamma ray burst ever recorded, nearly seven minutes. Most last milliseconds to a second or two. This one, they say, wasn't from a supernova, but a star being eaten. Of course, they don't really have any idea. These are just guesses, but sure is pretty to look at. And it was, in fact, the longest such burst ever recorded by a very wide margin, whatever caused it. Lastly, folks, prepare thy bellies for laughter and your brain's incredulity dial as this study looks at the global magnetic field and correctly concludes that the strength is dropping, which won't shock anyone at this channel. But they literally attempt to blame climate change for it, human activity impacting the atmosphere for the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. Just like we said was coming, around the same time they realize they can't hide what's happening, they're going to try to divert attention. But observers know better. Folks, winter tour tickets still available for the four remaining events. San Diego is just four days away. We're one month to Orlando. It's not just the details of the disaster, but how you survive it. And what I can now confidently say is confirmed that almost everyone is doing prepping the wrong way, wasting time and money and jeopardizing your survival. Folks, if you are coming out to Observer Ranch next year or you just want to support this larger group of individuals, consider the Observer Ranch membership. You get free nights at the ranch, pays for itself right away, name on the founder wall, health center access, discounts, and knowing that you support the kids' education events we do at the ranch and the special guest speakers. Links are below. Whether on tour or at the ranch, come see us and come back this afternoon for our special live stream. Final time details will be posted on X as well as the direct link to the program, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.